how to apply at the UFS how to apply it to the University of the Free State ladies and gentlemen in this video I am going to show you how to apply at the University of the Free State please make sure that you watch this video you listen and follow the exact steps as shown please note that this video is not sponsored by the government nor by the university so if you see value in this video I would really appreciate that you give it a thumbs up you subscribe it is free and you can leave a comment below if you have any inquiries or where we can up, uh, improve so without wasting any time let's go to an internet browser that you are using me i always advise that you use google chrome then go to the uh, university of the free state website which is ufs.ac.za then you will be taken to this main page here to continue uh, smoothly just accept this cookies uh, we, we you know that we do not read but you must read yes so yeah you will be taken to these steps here where you can read about this university special prospective student current student all of this the online learning short learning programs academic faculties you see you can just click here and uh, read more about the faculties that they are offering here so we can't go through them these are the um, contact details that you can call or email to if you have any inquiries so we can't go through all of this one so to apply you can just click here the apply or go down and click where it says apply so i'd like to use the top one because it is simple just click apply here then you'll be taken to this information here we can see that 2023 applications they are open i think uh, if you can click here read the story and then apply all of this information up online applications you can see important date it is important that you check the important date date let's see what is important here maybe uh, i think this are the closing date yes these are the closing date you can see this one is closing 31st may this one 31st june but most of the applications will be closing on the 31st of uh, September. Then after that, you can continue reading. There is information about transferring student here. Yeah? It is important that you read, guys. Uh, applicant, transferring student. If you are transferring from another institution, you must include a certificate of conduct and an official study record from the previous tertiary institution with your application and submit copies. Yeah? So you follow the exact steps, but you provide this information. If you, have com if you are doing matric or completed matric, you upload this document. So yeah, this is how you follow the exact steps. Please make sure that you read here. These were the important date. For um, undergraduate, you can check your prospectus here by clicking the undergraduate, then check your prospectus then and come and download it here then you can start browsing here and check the qualifications that they are offering here also with their admission requirements here so yes so just scroll down and check the requirements maybe for the qualification uh you can alternately search for it and see that you qualify this is how you check the prospectus i will also try to link it on the description of this video below so uh yeah great jobs please read here yeah. matriculation and the information also grade nines and everything for postgraduate these are your prospectors and your programs you read here yeah. so to apply you can click uh, apply i would like to use this one but i see that there is a read store but i'd like to use this one click the online application then you'll be taken to these steps you see that there are nine steps that you must complete here uh then after that you come here and read this information we have highlighted most of this information here uh grade 12 who are doing uh, students who are doing grade 12 you upload your grade 11 you upload your national certificate you just read here this is the email address that you can use to conduct you read here and follow the exact steps here uh also for postgraduate so i'll not go through again this information it is a waste of time it's for you to read this one if there's something that you do not understand please um send me an email so this is the email that you can use here so if you have an existing application you can enter your um what is this here your email address and your student number then continue here but uh, let's say you're a new applicant just click the new application here 
then you will need to enter the following information so let's enter it here you enter your first names the first name then your middle name if you have then your surname then you need to enter your cell phone number here then i will also enter my email address to verify them both at once so you see i've entered the what is this now oh uh, make sure that you enter a valid email address so it's fine i've entered both of this one so that they can verify them both at once so you verify the cell phone number they have sent you a code to verify the cell phone number then you also verify the email address and again they will send what a code to verify the uh, the email address so now i'll put the code that they have sent to my um uh, cell phone or sms you enter it as it is then after that you click verify so you can see that your number has been what verified then again to the email address you can see it here this date is it just came up here so it what and d you can alternately uh, copy this then let's go back we can just come and paste it here then after that you click verify so also the email address it is also verified now then after that you just click next so we come to a part where we need to enter our personal information we just continuing from the previous going forward your marital status we indicate if you are uh, married or single your gender you indicate here yeah. your um what is this your um, your date of birth first you start with the month uh come on you start with the month then with your date then with the year then after that your ethnicity you indicate it then you go down you try to answer these questions here i don't know if last year all of these questions were here it's too much questions too much questions but you answer these questions let's try to answer them as fast as we can then we come to these communication preferences how would you like to prefer uh, communication languages english obvious method i always advise that you say email not letters letters they get lost anywhere and it takes time for them to re to reach you uh, yes so home language you indicate again your home language why do they want it again then yeah uh, we come here in case of emergencies the next of kin uh, you can indicate that person then their names then their surname relationship with that person you indicate the relationship with that person uh, where is the sibling then you enter their cell phone number then you also enter their email address then disability if you have disability you can indicate if you have any disability then citizenship if you are a south african you will indicate if you are a south african citizen then uh, obvious country of origin will say south africa then after that id tab obvious it will be a national id if you have indicated that you are south african and after that you put your id number after entering it then after that you can just click next You'll be taken to a step where you need to identify your contact information. So you need to indicate your country. You can just search here by starting writing South Africa or the name of your country should pop up here. Then the province, obviously, you indicate the province, your address line, you indicate your address line as they are. And accordingly, so make sure that it is your street number, street name, maybe other names, then your suburb, uh, your city here or your town also your postal code then if your postal address it is the same as your physical address you can just click the same as here then they will take out that space there then your cell phone number you have it here you do not have to enter home cell phone number it's not commas at email address it's fine and after that you just click next you can update the this thing if you want to and uh, keep it there so we are coming to the part where we need to what at uh, our choices here so we first need to identify the first choice uh obviously it's undergraduate depending on your qualification yeah obviously it is 2023 starting on the first semester then you must know first the quality uh, the where from which faculty does it fall to that's why it was important to first check there where it falls under then the campus you must know the campuses uh, by you 
uh, then after that level of study it's uh, this one sometimes they can show undergraduate and postgraduate then type obviously it's a degree some they can show maybe certificate or diploma and both year then after that you select the uh, programs that they are offering here um, then after that academic plan you indicate then after that you uh, if you want to add a second choice you click here add a second choice you follow the same steps here as they are year of study 2023 starting first semester faculty you choose your faculty here then after that uh, campus uh, for example this health faculty of health science it's only available at plum fountain the level of study you can see you see what i i've told you about this postgraduate and undergraduate so i believe it undergraduate then type of qualification it's a degree then academic here you can indicate what you want to become um, here so we come here academic plan obviously this you select this one you can delete your second choice if you want to then after that you click next do you require financial aid obviously we all do then you can read more about NSFAS and other fundings that opportunities that they are there at the UFS so check on the university website any leadership style you can indicate if you have any and uh, culture or sport uh, leaderships or achievement you can indicate here um are you interested in campus campus housing just say yes uh, it's fine if you are a first year student more special you must click there then in which country is your high school uh start typing here i don't know why they are red star here maybe yeah uh, then after that you select the name of your school you can start entering maybe the first three letters you can see that the name of your school also you see here the lp mp fs it shows the province here so that's how you can verify if it is not on the list you can click here then enter your school manually and also its address here so this is the perfect feature that i like about this university then we come and enter what here our subject here then obviously we are entering what greater finally school living uh year so it's what it's 2016 then uh yes school living year it's 2016 year certificate type it is a national senior certificate but you can uh, if you are doing metric or pre yeah if you're doing metric or if you have completed metric you choose this one but Prior to 2008, those all the school, um, our fellows, you indicate senior certificate. If you have other, indicate other. Then your examination number, it is needed. Then after entering this one, you can start entering your subject here. Maybe, for example, you can start typing the name of the subject that you have done. Then the grade, obvious, is this one. Then the result, you indicate the percentages that you got there. Then after that, uh, it's fine. So you click add another subject here, you continue. So let's add all the subjects. If you are done entering your information, you can remove a subject if you have entered it wrong here. Then after that, you go and um, current activity, you indicate what you are currently doing. If you are unemployed, you indicate choose of language. Obviously, it's English. Um, then study to another university can indicate yes then after that you add your qualification the name of the university then you can start typing the name of the university here you must be try you must try to be fast the name of the qualification qualification status it's in progress then expected to complete this qualification so it will be 30 uh, 2002 and after that uh, you can add another qualification if you want to if you have completed it if it is the first uh, university uh, then after that you indicate then uh, uh, the name of the qualification then its status well done then you can add another one if you have another one uh if you have entered the wrong information you can click here to remove the qualification then you come to this one healthy uh, this information it is not comely it is not commas or ladies and gentlemen but let's try to enter it and it is order on your heart this one no and it is order on your chest to you indicate and it is order on your this digestive and uh, this one uh, let me leave it at just know these things here and uh, you will read it and follow these exact steps 
Let's they ask you external activities. I'll just leave it at now. This ones are you are you a class leader? Are you whatsoever? What is this hostel? The uh, donor parent. Yeah, other NPT reference. If you have it, you enter it here. Then after that, you click next. Then you'll be taken to a part where you need to upload your documents here. Obviously, according to the information that you have provided, you need to upload this information here. So obviously, we need what our ID copy. You click choose a file. Then after that, you double click on your file. Then it has been uploaded. Same thing as your qualification. You click here. Try to upload the latest qualification. You double click. Then uh, health science is here. Depending on the information that you have provided here you need to download this form and complete it then you come and upload it here same thing as your principal signature you download this file and come and upload it here then after that you click next here uh, then you go to the agreement you read here and follow the exact steps if you agree then after that you click submit application so your application has been just submitted just like that ladies and gentlemen so you can uh, just screenshot this keep your reference number you should also receive your email uh, regarding this information so this is not a confirmation of admission ne, or selection this is just a confirmation that you have submitted your application admission will depend on your uh, final result or maybe your equivalent qualification your academic record or requirements conditions stipulated by the university of faculty ne? If you have any inquiries, you can send them to this uh, email address and also call this one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how exactly you apply at the, the, the UFS. I don't know if you have any inquiries, please drop down a comment below and we will try to answer and assist where we can assist. Good luck with the applications and take care of yourselves.